हेलो हेलो स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज सोनाली हितेश राउत असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सीकेडी कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स हेलो वेलकम इन आवर सेशन फर्स्ट इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी अ बेसिक वेब टर्मिनोलॉजीज एंड एच टी एम एल दैट इज अपर टेक्सट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज विच इज अ वेक प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूव फॉरवर्ड फॉर द वेब टर्मिनोलॉजीज what we have to see in this presentation that is a web terminology introduction to html basic html tags and tags with the example so we will move move towards the web terminology which terminology are related to the web first is the internet and second is the ww student there is actually confusion between the ww and the internet few people some thinks that the internet and the ww is the same but no they are a different term they have a different meaning so first we will see a internet internet means what it is a global system of interconnected computer network that uses the internet net protocol which protocols tcp ip protocols they have to make use protocols nothing but what protocol is nothing but a set of a rules which you have to be follow so which set of a rules we have to follow to access the internet first one is a tcp and second one is tcp ip protocol tcp the full form of tcp transmission control protocol and internet protocol to communicate between the network and the devices internet nothing but what different different computer different different system interconnected with each other but to interconnect each other they have to follow some rules that is called as what a protocol and which rules they have to follow they are a tcp ip protocol now we will move forward for the www www as everybody know the full form of full form of www is world wide web it is nothing but what it is also called as what a web which is a collection of a software and the program which spans the internet and helps to interlink the document as well as the resources it, it means what internet is a different thing and www is a different thing it is nothing but what a set of a program which is available on the internet and we can interlink with e which each other and doc the, these documents and the resources next one is nothing but what a web server and web client and http we will see web server and web client jointly web server and web client nothing but what just like a shopkeeper and the client when we are going any shop we are requesting something to purchase we are and shopkeeper selling something same thing is happening web server nothing but what it is also one type of system which is program to send a file to the client which is connected to the internet always remember member for work as a web server and client there should be a internet connection what is happening web client some send some request to process some uh, process for the processor uh, for the server to do something server will accept that request and will do a processing and get back to the client then examples of the client nothing but what your browser like a mozilla mozilla firefox google chrome these all are nothing but what a web client and web server is nothing but what you are a when client requesting to the web server next is what a http http stand for what a hypertext transfer protocol it allows a computer on a www to communicate with each other and handle request and response request from the client and response from the server so here full form of what http hypertext transfer protocol means was it is also a protocol which have set of a rules jo it will connect to the www and it connected to a internet these all are the basic term terminologies when we are using a internet or the web concept now the request the web client and the web uh, uh, web server the diagram represent like it is a web server and it is a web client web client request some page to the web server web server process that page and will get back to the web client and web client i just already told you web client nothing but what you are a web browser like a google chrome all this because when we are to download we have to for example if you want to log in into the gmail account you have to request which web page that is a gmail so you have to make use of a browser via browser you are requesting to the google web server 
this is nothing but what you are a web terminology and last terminology is what a url url nothing but what uniform resource locator it is more than a address of a given unique resource on the web now the basic division of the url is not http www.google.com when you open any browser on address bar whatever you are typing it is called as what a url and url is divided into three to four part first one is what a http that is a protocol just we have seen next one is what a www just we have seen it is called as what a subdomain next one is what a google or any website which is called as a domain name and dot com which is called as what a tld that is a top level domain it might be a dot in it might be a dot gov it might be a dot edu it indicates they are government site they are educational site it is a nothing but what a commercial site means what google is a commercial site so this is called as what a, everything when you mix up it is called as what a url next one first now we have seen this basic terminology because we have to see a html the html is nothing but what a basic a basic of html it is it is used for developing any web page so for, for that we should know the basic terminology of the internet and the www so html nothing but what hypertext markup language it is used for to dev it is used to develop a web pages so web pages which type of web pages that is a stack static web pages not a dynamic web pages and html is a markup language in full form of html what is the full form hypertext markup language markup means what any language having a tag format then it is called as what a markup language it also used to develop a web page also used for consist of a series of a uh, elements it tells the browser how your content should display on the web page okay so html element it consists of such as a this is a paragraph this is a heading link you can include video audio in a html file so it is nothing but what now we will move forward for the features of the html it is easy to learn easy to use it is a platform independent platform independent means what it does not depend on systems os operating system we can develop we can create images videos and the audio can be added on to the web page hypertext can be added to the text hypertext nothing but what just like a linking for example when you are google anything you are you are going to search anything on the google there will be a linking of any number of a web pages will be there and that is called as what a hypertext then it is a marker markup language i already told you markup language nothing but what the language which include the tag and this is called as what a tag format it is just for these all are the features of html now we will move forward for the html tag as as i already told you it is a markup language and it is called as a tag so we have to see what are the basic html tag basic html tags are divided into two parts first one is a pair tag and second one is a unpair tag pair tag is also called as what a opening or closing tag and unpair tags also called as what a singular tag opening and closing tag means what it is the skeleton of your html document once you have opened the particular tag you need to compulsory close the tag and how do you compulsory close that tag you have to just add a forward slash in front of that tag i have given some example that html which is the start of your document html close this is the closing of your tag that's why it is called as what a pair tag next one is what a unpair tag unpair tag is also called as what a singular tag it does not require to close the tag for example br tag and hr tag next one we will move forward for the html structure document first one it is a html head title head body section body section close and html close this is the html and html it is the main part of your html document under html you have to name the head tag head tag is also what a pair tag and under a pair tag inside a head tag you have to enclose what a title tag title tag gives a title of your web page then whatever the contents you need to display on to the web page they are include into the body tag body is also what type of a tag it is also pair tag opening and a closing tag this is the skeleton or we can say it is a structure of your html now move forward for the basic example 
consider we have typed this html code in a notepad always remember these steps you have to write this code into the any text editor i can give a example of a notepad plus plus you have to write this code once you write the code you have to save that code with dot html extension whenever you are going to develop any web page you have to save that with the dot html extension once you have saved you have to open a client what is the client that is a browser you have to open the browser and open the html file once you open the html file for example i have given the name for page title consider abc.html is the name of the file once you have open this file in a browser output will be look like this that is your web browser has been open and you are what is output is expected output will be display so what is the expected output title is nothing but what page title it is a page title next one what it is a uh, my first heading and my first paragraph these are the contents on the web page which is display onto the body tag so it is display what my first heading and my first paragraph so student i hope you understand the basic tag basic structure of html and all basic web terminology in next session uh, in next session we will see uh, all the basic tags of the html and we'll see one of the one or two programs on the basis of this html uh, tag so thank you very much students